Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so racism is always a hot topic. But it is not the only America that experiences it, but it is a major thing all across the globe. The simplest way to define it is that it is a belief that different races possess distinct characteristics, abilities, or qualities, especially so as to distinguish them as inferior or superior to one another. It's somewhere like xenophobia in disguise. The real trouble is that it is not just a thing that should be covered as white supremacy, as we all know that the welcoming citizens of America are truly against it. Racism is supported by bigger platforms, those that are igniting it. Major myths that are stuck in minds of people like black color is used to represent evil, black hair is bad luck, and yes, even a threat is a black man. Until and unless we're getting these myths out our heads, we won't be able to get rid of it. Now, have you ever wondered why don't people really pay for getting black? Like, I mean here that people pay a sum of money to get their skins whiter and brighter. And this gives a clear point that racism is not led by the whites. First of all, all those who think that their skin color isn't beautifying are on the wrong track. Beauty is not defined by your looks. Come on, lads. Blame those whitening treatment scammers who put this shit in your heads. Defining whitening as liberty and blackness as servitude. Now, let's just think of the word gangster and what image pops in your head. A giant, tall, broad black man with some gold chains around his neck. Voila, we are all ruined. And now, let me tell you that if you have a look at the real gangsters around the world, they were white, naming a few Al Capone, El Chapo, and Anthony Salarmo. And you all might be well aware of the name Pablo Escobar. Wallahi, but this I am not pulling white people down, but defining you what mindset they have created on us. Open your minds and look at the good side of things. Follow the right path even if the whole world is against you. Okay, so in chapter number 49, verse number 13 of the Noble Quran, Allah states, O mankind, indeed we have created you from a single pair of a male and a female and made you into nations and tribes that you may know each other. Verily, the most honored of you in the sight of Allah is the one who is the most righteous. Indeed, Allah is knowing and acquainted. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from evil doers and strengthen our faith. Jazakallah khair.